We are at a street market today. The Salcedo, I think, street market. And they have Schwam. Wow. Oh. Wow. There's a lot of options. This is overwhelming. Yes, mom, sir. Hello. Jackfruit. Jackfruit would be good. We haven't officially had jackfruit outside of Halo Halo. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Donuts. Dynamite. Oh, it's him. Fruits. They have fuzzy rambutan. Wow, this just goes on around the whole thing and inside seems like some places are already closing there's still supposed to be an hour left but no dogs allowed why well that with the woofers can't be whooping anymore ah. there's definitely a lot of options we might just start going and just grabbing tons of them grabbing things i'm super super hungry right oh, now same so uh, if you watched our other video the yeah, hi. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh, they look roasted. Oh, what's on? Pasta. Bread. Oh, sausages. It's a lot of stuff here. Oh my gosh. Bread. Fresh lumpia. Oh, wow. Look at those cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Huh? Those look impressive. We can buy some Kraken spoons, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so... How would we ever choose? I was thinking that uh, we just go through, look at everything, then figure out what we want to eat, but we might just have to start grabbing things. Yeah, we might. This looks like the fruit section. Aww. Okay, so it seems like in there there wasn't a ton of food. It was more like take-home stuff, generally. This is the fruit section. Oh, fresh buco. Yum. Eggs. Well, we have the. Oh, that was really strong. Yeah, what was that? I don't know. It's like really strong. They have pizza there? Pizza? Pete. I think we're gonna get some pizza and then we're gonna go home. Yeah, I think so. That's probably what we came here for was the pizza. Ooh, it's hot. It is really hot. It got really hot out. Now that everyone's cooking things too. Okay, what has caught your eye so far? So stuff over there, there was like the uh, the cinnamon roll, obviously, oh, that looked amazing. Very large. The, there's so many things, I forgot half of them. <laughs> oh look, bread. Oh, bread. I like bread. Chicken pie. More fruit. Fruit, corn, fruit. There's a lot of interesting fruits. I thought it was going to be like uh, Filipino stuff that we saw in Dubai. There's international. A lot of international stuff. Oh, hungry rice. What is that? Oreo. Whoa. That thing. Cook up on them juice. Oh, that's a nicer. That's a nicer camera than ours. That is. Dang it. <laughs> and she's. We're just kind of point. <laughs> She's like explaining things in her language. We're just like, oh, oh, wow. Vegas. This is what you come here to try fade for, is pointing at things and look at like, oh, squid. Oh, you want? Yeah. Oh wow, this is where all the sticked foods are. Oh, there's some bangus filled with. All right, there's some meats over there. Yeah. Thought I was take a good meat skewer. There's some. You could just eat one of those. Oh, yeah. you could just take the eel. Do you want an eel? All right, so that's about everything. We have officially, we have officially walked through the entire market. Ah, uh, there's some more things. I'm just kidding. Let's go get the eel right now. Let's okay. go. There was banana queue down there, which would be interesting. Let's try some banana queue to start it off. So okay. Br bring us back to the start. Banana queue. Wow, guys, look at this. It's a queue of bananas. This is obviously a big one from the Philippines. Deep fried banana and sugar. And we got two and a half pieces. That's a steal. For 22? That's a steal. Wow, that's, that's very cheap. 40 cent banana queue? <gasps> oh, it's fracking hot still. Really? <laughs> it's bigger than your face. Wow! 
Why is it so hot? It was just sitting there. Yeah. Do they have it just like frying at the bottom? Well, it was off the top too. Benini. It is still hot. It really is. Oh. Wow. Why? So hot. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. The outside. The initial taste I got was s'more. S'more? Oh, just because like the way it's fried or something? Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's like because it's roasted or something or that's the initial taste I got was like a s'more, like a coated or like a perfectly cooked marshmallow. Oh. But then you get the banana on the inside. Oh. <laughs> Painful. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good the outside is so sugary as you can see it's like super super sweet then the inside is just fresh i guess deep fried fresh <laughs> banana it's close enough but it tastes it literally goes from super sweet super sweet super sweet candy to fruit sweetness which i usually prefer to the super sweetness but that's really yummy i'll eat that so you can get to the next one <laughs> yeah while uh, he eats that, I'm going to do my leaf review. It's going to be a new uh, segment on the tri Fate vlog series. Somebody took a bite out of that leaf. Leaf review, uh, you're getting a 6 out of 10 just because you only have about 60% of surface area left. Uh, just kidding, I'm never going to do a leaf review again. This is dangerous. What if you were eating banana peel and then, <laughs> then someone went... Yeah, what if somebody evil is... That would really hurt. That would hurt. What if it stabbed your uvula? Would you just throw up forever? I think so. I think that's what happened. Ah. It's still hot. All right, I'm going. All, I'm going all in oh, for this one. The commit. Oh, I felt. I felt your the warm air come out and hit my hand. I felt the flames come out of my mouth right there. Are you like House of Dragon? Uh huh. That's a reference to a crack in yesterday's vlog. Call me Damien. Ah. Whew. That is so good. That's my favorite thing. I think that's my favorite thing we've eaten in the Philippines so far. Really? I think it is. And it's the cheapest by far. By far. First reposition. Oh wow, he's going for the, oh. It's really soft based, based off that. <laughs> it's fracking hot. Do you feel the flames? If you were a true Targaryen, you wouldn't burn. The texture on it's very nice too, because it's like the crunchy outside, but then the banana softness on the inside. It's like exactly how you want a donut to, to yeah. feel. It's literally just like a doughy bread sort of texture, but then you get the fruity sweetness. Is it banana bread? Banana bread, banana bread. Banana, banana boy, banana boy. Are you a banana boy or a banana bread boy? Banana biscuit boy. <laughs> and we're signing off everyone goodbye <laughs> have a great day we're going home see you later you could eat a normal banana yeah why not fry it and add some sugar what what bad could that do nothing it will go right to your cholesterol oh it's making me thirsty though what's the equivalent of deli belly in the philippines um Man manila M manila my phila belly Come. Manila mellow glaucoma. Manila uh, diabetes. Manila bloody banana cube, bruv. Bloody banana cube, it's pretty bloody good. Bruv. If you can't tell, we're bloody British. We've oh, actually been doing an American accent this whole time. Hello, governor. Hey. I'm going to get some banana cube. What's bloody going on? It's good. <laughs> you got, you got to uh, make your voice super by high. I've got a little bit of shams. These southern boys. If you're going to tell, we are doing increasingly awful British <laughs> accents there. Hello, governor. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a stroll down London Street. <laughs> Is he British? <laughs> he might be. I feel like a lot of the white people here are British. Oh my god, are you banana queuing me? No! I'm gonna get kicked out of Makati and deported. You wanted us to interact with locals? This is how we interact with locals. Eat next to them and make weird noises so they look at us. And then occasionally scare them with our weird noises. Oh. <laughs> Very epic. Let's go get some more food. We're getting some watermelon juice and some buko pandan. 
And unfortunately, we're right next to these hot coals, so we are sweating. And we got some jackfruit here. We should be recording, but I always turn it off, and then we just end up doing it. We don't think about it, because we're not smart. No, uh, we're actually very stupid, if you can't tell from our vlogs. <laughs> Oh, they're running out of the buco for the day. Uh -oh. We're getting like one of the last glasses. Exclusive? Exclusive. If you want exclusive stuff, go to our Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think she liked my epic vlog pitch, you or were, my epic Facebook pitch. You were going epic vlog style right there. That it's, banana cue made me very thirsty. <laughs> so hot. All right, so these are both yummy flavors. We got this at the buffet. Oh my, correct. Here we go. Oh. Whoa. This Different. is like straight up like milked watermelons. Like they milked that watermelon Just squeeze down. squeeze it? Yeah. Watermelons are 95% water. You know, you can milk fruits, by the way. They don't, doesn't have to be milk inside of something for it to be milk. No, I mean, it's called milk for a reason. And that's because you milk the thing, not because there is milk. Water, melon, e. That's pretty refreshing, actually. Like very refreshing. One of the best drinks we've gotten so far was the buffet, buffet uh, watermelon juice. That's very true. I'll get some of this buco. Please don't fall, you fracker. Ooh. You can tell this one is in its full. It didn't seep out the top. <laughs> they ran out. Ooh. I wasn't expecting the chunks to shoot down my throat. <laughs> or like real coconut chunks. Oh, okay. So yeah, chew them a little more. Look at it. Oh. Look at that. That's a cokey right there. That is a cokey. Mm. a lot of them. Oh my. That's very good too. There's no jello that I could take. No, just the coconut. I'm just getting coconut chunks, but that's pretty good. They're both very good. They were 60 each. Very refreshing. Oh, wow. Yes, that is very straight. Like, imagine I have a fully cut just watermelon circle right now. That's what that tastes like. You milked it? Milked it. Makes it much more refreshing. It does, straight up milker. And now the the buco pandi, buca panda. It's a bit smoother than the other ones. It's smooth, but less sweet for sure. Probably because there's much less sugar. I'm sure they just dump a thing of sugar in the other ones. Definitely with the Jello. Makes it more refreshing again. It does than having just tons of sugar. It's very nice on this very hot fracking day. It got really hot out. Yeah, the sun has came out, which is good that it's not raining but it was really hot and we were standing next to those coals in there that were just frying. Up. We're truly gonna die when the weather is hot and we go out a lot. We will, we will. And uh, in how much sweat we lose, we're gonna become dehydrated and because we're just gonna burn. I love burning. Let's try to find some more food. Very fracking epic. But they don't all close. True, yeah. They're closing are... up shop right now. It closes at two, but everyone's closing up shop at like 1.30. That seems to be a thing here is uh places close up pretty early they're like oh it's about to close let's close now so we're ready to leave and then sometimes we look on google for like restaurants and they'll say they close at nine and then they're open till like 1 a.m and google is not helpful not at all well guys they are all a lot of these places are really closing up shop so we're gonna have to go to another place to get some more stuff eventually <laughs> yeah. not today but we got some jackfruit to try still so we got some banana cues some jackfruit some uh, zoinker juice and uh, yeah, I'd say it's a successful day. It was a successful day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching us try all these things. I guess we still have to try the jackfruit. We might try that, I guess, when we get back. Uh, or, oh, we could, yeah, we could try it in some corner somewhere. We could, and we don't have to carry it around. Just, we'll just walk through one more time, see if there's anything worth grabbing. I don't know if I want anything sweet right now. I don't know. That's the hard thing to balance out. When we do a big day, you don't know what you're gonna get at a street market. We never even know when we're gonna eat, so it's hard to line up that. Yeah, and this one closes so early, so we really didn't have a choice. I mean, this is a pretty nice market too. It's so crazy to me that it's only open 
on Saturdays from according to Google 7 to 2 p.m. First off, those are insanely weird hours for like a market that sells this type of food. Yeah. Second off, like they set this all up. Just, I guess that is still a long time for them. Like a nice eight hours or whatever it is. I don't want to do the math right now. But the, the, the fact that it's just one day, it's very interesting. You think it would be worth it to be open like Saturday, Sunday, but maybe they have it down to a science. Maybe they do. Maybe since it's so exclusive, everyone's got to come on the yeah. same day that they're, then they're like, oh, more sales. Easier to make the moolah all in one go. But I will be going to a lot more street markets coming up. Uh, we are planning to go to Bagyao, probably not next week because it's Typhoon Week, but or this week, I guess you're watching, uh, but possibly next week. So be ready for that. Now here's a big famous night market there. Uh, oh, wait. We almost lost the jackfruit and a biscuit boy. Uh, oh. I totally forgot what I was going to say now. I got so fight or flight mode. <laughs> Did you fight or flight? I died. Oh, for Oh. Isaac's dead, everybody. Isaac dies? <laughs> Philippines, you need to work on uh, making sure I don't die. I've yeah. died already a few times here. The frack. This is a serious issue that needs to be addressed here. You're just like big ounce. Unless I am. Big ounce dies a lot. If this is across the street. How do we get back to that? I y'all like garden. I have so many things in my hands now. If this issue does not get addressed, we are leaving. Hey guys, I just ate jackfruit for a video. Uh, it's the Intramuros one, which will be posted in like a few days. You'll see it soon. It's pretty epic. <laughs> Thoughts on the jackfruit we bought at the market? Yeah, it's good. It's an interesting flavor. It's not as like punchy in the face sweet, but it tastes nice. My hands aren't the cleanest. I've been touching this. And it's been raining. Look at how prune boy those are. Oh, this tastes nice. It's, it's the texture is like a pepper. Really? Which oh, is weird. It kind of has like the shape of like when you cut a bell pepper in half. But it tastes yummy. <laughs> I like how it's on your face now from whatever reason. You guys have to figure uh, out. You guys have to figure out uh, why we ate the jackfruit. Yeah. In the other video. So go watch it right now. It's or in two days. It's very epic.